Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Paradox, and welcome to a new Hearts of Iron 4 series. Now, I've only uploaded one series of this so far, Spain, and it's still not finished, of course. There's a long way to go, but people have really been enjoying it, and that made me really happy because I've really enjoyed playing this game. It's so much fun. It's so satisfying to play, and so many stories to tell. So we're going to start a new one today, but for today, I decided to do something obviously a little bit different. I wanted to play as one of the major nations. So we're going to start in 1936, uh, and we're going to play as a major nation. The reason why, um, obviously, we, as Spain, we're kind of a second power. But this time, I'd like to play as one of the bigger nations, because they have their own focus trees. And the national focus trees are really awesome. They have their own unique twist on things. You can kind of change things up or do things the same way as in history. It's a real nice thing. And only the major countries and Poland have them right now. So I would like to play as one of them and see how we do. In the future, we will play as some smaller nations. I do want to play as nations like uh, Iran, um, Mexico, Turkey. There are some really cool smaller nations which I really would love to play, but for today I felt we haven't played as a big nation, so I'd like to try that out um, for the second series at least. So we're not going to play in Europe obviously because I've played in Europe as Spain. I would like to play somewhere different. So I'm going to go for Japan because we're going to play in Asia and also we played as a communist last time. This time maybe we could play as a fascist nation. We also seem to get something called State Shintoism. Factory Bomb Vulnerability is minus 10, and Division Recovery Rate is plus 10, so that sounds pretty good, so let's jump straight in. Now, we're going to play with historical AI focuses, because last time again I played without this, and this time I would like to try it. Plus, we're playing as one of the major nations this time, so it could be fun to see how we'll affect things, how we'll change things. I will not completely stick to history, I have my own plans. But I must warn you, I've never played as Japan before. I've never even played as one of the major nations apart from um, Great Britain in a multiplayer game, which is really fun, by the way. Multiplayer in this game is hilarious. But I've not played as Japan. So this is going to be all new to me. And for those guys who are new to my channel, I'm not the type of Let's Play who kind of shows off how good he is and tries to, you know, break the game and do things in a great way and takes over the world. I'm just the kind of guy who kind of enjoys the journey, wants to tell you guys a story, and hopefully we enjoy it together. That's kind of usually my aim for these types of games. And in the Spain one, people seem to have been enjoying it. So Japan, I'm looking forward to this. Let's go through with what we got. As we can see here, things look very different from my Spain one. We have a lot more men. We have a lot of islands, actually. Wow. There's a lot of men down there. And even a lot of boats over here. A few men. We have men everywhere. Okay, this could be interesting then. Okay, yeah, we have to remember we have all these men down here, but that's something for the future. But to begin with then, let's go through what we got. The research. Now we start with four research slots because we're now a major nation. Um, I think the Soviets and the French, they only get three because apparently it's to kind of... Uh, make sure they're not OP, I guess. That's what I was told. But let's go for support, uh, support weapons because we need those. They're an old type of technology. We need those. What else do we need? Support battalions. Military police might be useful later on, and field hospitals. Armor, I would like to get a proper tank. And the great thing again about playing a major nation is you get the proper names for the tanks and pictures and whatnot. It's really nice. Should we go for the Hago? Soft attack 14. Type 95. 12. Okay, I feel like I feel like the smaller one, the light tank, will be better. Let's go for the light tank, I think. Then we can go for the medium tanks later on. Or maybe just go for this one later. Let's go for this. Research. So we've got two military things there. Um, land doctrine. We're going for grand battle plan. We have our naval uh, stuff. Lots of different ships that we can already get. Naval doctrine has been decided. Base strike. Would like to get some more airplanes. And we haven't chosen an air doctrine. Engineering. Let's go for this because the research time. And we'll go for something for construction. Let's go for basic machine tools because that is really good for helping us to continue to build stuff. And obviously as Japan, we, have, we should have a lot more factories. We have 63 factories. That's not too bad. So we want to get things efficient. So that's what we got there. Then we got our factories. We'll look at those in a second. We have 26 civilian and 22 military. That's a lot of military factories. And obviously 15 docks. Now, this is our Japan focus tree. Now, there's a lot of cool things there. Obviously, you've got War with China. 
uh, sever Sino-German ties, found our own faction, or go towards more the Axis. We can def demand French Indochina, befriend Siam, this stuff. And there's a lot of cool stuff, actually. Now, I obviously want to declare war on China. That's what we're going to go for first. I'll go for my plan in a second. I have a cunning plan. <laughs> or I, I guess maybe just a plan. I, I think maybe it could be good. We'll see. But yeah, before we declare war on China, though, I want to get our nation a bit more pumped up. So army primacy would increase military factories and army experience. Let's go for this then. That's a lot of factories. And we want to go through our divisions, make sure they look good. That is a pretty big division there. Um, we have a lot of manpower, though, almost a million men. And we've not even done anything to change that. Wait, what is our stuff set to? Limited conscription. Okay. Limited exports and partial mobilization. Okay, that's probably why we have so many men, yeah. Okay, that's, that's good to see. I was going to say, normally it's like volunteer only in some countries, so you have so few men. That's probably why it starts so high. But that's good to see. See, I like these guys. We're going to keep them as they are. Support artillery, we'll leave that for now. Let's train up some men. We'll get three of these. We have so many men. And we'll make you pop up here. Now, apparently we can't land our men here in Manchuria or in uh, Korea, sadly. How about this group? They have a little tank there, a light tank. I don't want that, though. We're, we're going to get a better tank. We have some horses here. Okay, cavalry. These guys have artillery. Let's get some of these, then. Let's train up some of these. Um, we'll get a couple, not three. And we have what I want, marines. That's exactly what I want. Let's get some marines trained up. Hey, we want Marines because we're going to obviously attack China. Okay. So let's go for this then. So I think we need some more construction, uh, some civilian factories, because we don't have that many compared to actually military factories. We only have a few less. Let's build one there then. Synthetic refineries could be good. How much oil do we have? We have like no oil. So yeah, I and we need oil. So I think we should probably go for that. Um, let's go back to construction. Synthetic refineries would be nice for us. Let's build one there. Build one there, build one there. Let's try and build some synthetic refineries everywhere. Yeah. And more construction factories later on. We'll see how things go. Military factories, we need way more guns. Definitely. Build guns. Um, apparently we're not building artillery. That's what we need. So we'll decrease these. Bring artillery up to the forefront. There we go. And we want to build some more. That should be enough. We want to build a lot more of these. We have three more. I have one more of them. That should be pretty good. Two a day, three a week. They need a lot of these, though. Let's build another one of them. Have you another one? Okay, let's go for that, then. Yeah, so that looks pretty good, then. I think I'm happy with that. We've got this going. Maybe we should just build one less of these. Let's go for that first. Um, how much guns? 7,000 guns. Pretty good. Docks, then. We need five more docks. What do I want to build? A, carry a heavy cruiser would be nice. Let's go for the heavy cruiser and add one more to the submarines. Perfect. So that is our stuff done there. We now need some trade. Now we already have resources traded here. So let's cancel that. So we need 20 oil. That is a ridiculous amount of oil. The United States maybe. Venezuela. Let's go for Venezuela. They're a fascist nation if I remember correctly. Uh, rubber. Siam. Let's get rubber from Siam. And everything else is good. A lot of chromium there and a lot of tungsten. So everything else is pretty good. So now for my plan, obviously. You guys maybe don't know what I plan to do. Obviously, we're probably going to plan to invade China. That's generally the thing as Japan. You're going to try and invade China. But this is going to be difficult. We need to build up our nation first and we'll attack them. But then what do we do after that? Now, I don't know how hard it is to attack China. I've seen Japan lose actually a few times to China. China's been able to fight back pretty good. But we've got to be worried about the Soviet Union. That is one of our biggest fears. We're not going to join the Axis, though. I'm not joining the Germans. The Germans have their own faction, the Axis. We're going to create our own faction. And as we could see from the focus tree, you can actually befriend Siam. And that's something I'm going to want to do. I'm going to go towards that. Befriending Siam. Bring them in to us. But yeah, sometimes we need more friends. So we need to find more fascists. So if we go to diplomacy, we can find fascists. There's not many fascist countries. There's Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Hungary, um, obviously, Peru, Venezuela. There's a few in the Americas we could maybe make friends with. But 
I'm going to make friends with this. Australia. I feel like we're going to come to blows with the Allies at some point. So I feel like maybe getting Australia to turn fascist might be a fun idea. <laughs> Plus, it just seems annoying maybe to attack Australia. It would be great to have them as an ally instead. So I'm going to increase fascism. We're going to start boosting party popularity. It will take a long time, but it's only 1936, so we have lots of time. My main ultimate goal, though, is to invade America. Japan obviously did attack Pearl Harbor, and they had war with America. Our main goal, our ultimate goal, would be to invade America or Moscow. That means we need some friends in America. And I'm thinking Mexico. Mexico could be a good friend, which we could ally with. Maybe give ourselves a place we can land and attack from. So let's boost it here as well. It'll take a long time as well. There's no popularity for fascism, but it could be fun. So those, those are my two allies, possibly of the future, to join my faction. But we'll have to wait and see. There's a lot to play. A lot of things could change. But we're not going to join the Germans for now. Unless things go completely to shit. So let's get the time rolling then. I say a long introduction. I do apologize. Because uh, we're going quite fast, I'm going to turn that off for now. Let's put it on four then. So I need to create some uh, armies. So let's grab these guys. Yeah, I'm going to grab these guys. These guys are going to be our uh, China force. They're going to be the one that's going to be placed with invading China. So we need a field marshal, of course. There's 30 divisions here. Now, this guy's the old guard, max entrenchment, and combat width. This guy's combat width, combat width, and that's it. So one of these two is probably preferable. This guy, you know, max entrenchment plus one, but minus 25 leader experience gain. So you know, he's part of the old kind of system. Let's go with this guy, Hatter. So I can say that name, I think. I'm going to destroy people's names. Pronunciations is going to be terrible. I do apologize for that. It's just the way I am. So let's give you guys a front line. So front line them. And oops. And also, let's increase the front line. I can't. Okay, let's increase the front line then here. So there we go. We'll have the front line across that. And the... Cr how, how does... It seems to create two front lines, it seems. No divisions. Okay, well, let's delete that. Let's just, just make the front line with China, then. Uh, we'll delete that one as well. And front line. There we go. Okay, we'll place the front line with China. Those guys are going to be in charge with kind of defeating China when we do declare war. Then we have these guys up here. They're going to be for the Soviets. So we'll let these guys move across, move down there. These guys down here are going to be our invading force. So they're obviously going to come through the sea. Just put our men over here. Get ready for a naval invasion. Obviously, it could be a long way off. I'm not going to jump straight into attacking China. I'm going to wait till we're ready. As you can see there, look at that. They have a lot of men. Jesus, look at that. <laughs> they have a lot of soldiers. Now, how's our supply limit? Our supply limit is fine over there. It's not too bad. How about resources? Yeah, so we saw there we don't really have much oil. But we do have, like, a lot of chromium. So that's pretty nice. Okay. And we're probably going to bring our men back from the islands. China's not got really a proper navy. So I feel like if we just bring our armies back from the islands, that could be useful. Or we could just bring them all to Taiwan. Let's I think this is Taiwan, yeah? Yeah, it's Taiwan. Let's bring them all over here. Oh, I can't bring them there. Isn't there a dock here? Okay, move to the dock. Is that... That's here, yeah? So move to that dock. So we're going to bring all our armies from the islands over I feel like there's no dock there's only an airport do you have any dock yeah you do but then again this is kind of bordering the lands of other nations so we might United States and stuff the ones kind of more inside like this one how about you come over you can't come over huh have a quick look here there is a harbor there I thought you could just send people across from the harbors that's usually there you go. We can go to that one. Okay, so we can get the people back to China. So let's send some people back to China to join the main force. You guys don't need two. So how about one of you heads back as well? That's an air base, though, I think. Damn. No, it's not an air base. Or is it? One unlocked small island. Okay. Naval base, yeah. Okay, you can come back then. We'll bring some of the men back. 
Can you not get there? There we go. So he's going to come back as well. Because we need as many men as possible. We can see there the Chinese have a lot of soldiers. We'll leave you guys there. You guys around here. How about you? Do you, you don't have a dock there. How are you meant to get... Oh, there's one there, apparently. Yes, yeah, so I think you can get back. Okay, you come back then. There we go. Okay, so we're bringing these guys back. Not many men, but every little helps. Has production then. So we've finished on, obviously, fighters and bombers, but it's always good to have extra. They finished making artillery, so let's bring that back and increase the guns. We need 16,000 guns. That is crazy. Whew, and I thought Spain was a problem when it came to guns. We should make a bit less. Let's make one less there. Yeah, and new location. How about you also come down here and you come there? So there we go. We can't put them on Manchuria, but we can put them across here. Now that the other army's done, we can now get you guys together. You'll be the next army. 12 there, so we can go for a general instead. Now, anyone good maybe for defending against Russia? Maybe defense or something. Reconnaissance is always nice. Attacking a fort, maybe not what I want. Out of supply. That could be good, I guess, because, yeah, cold weather and stuff. Yeah, he's good at that. Let's get him in then. Yeah, he'll be good against the cold weather, which is obviously one of the biggest enemies when you attack Russia. So there you go, set his front line. He doesn't have many soldiers, but that'll have to do for now. I don't think the Soviets will attack us. For now. So that's fine. Look at that. 35,000 men. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland territory, close to the French border, in clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles. But it looks as though it's okay. France does not seem to care. Okay, army innovations. Land doctrines, that would be nice. Recruitable population would be good as well, but let's go for this one. Army innovations. Land doctrines would be good for now. And we have four more factories. Let's go for that. Let's completely fill up that factory. And this one. There we go. Very good. So things are looking good. We're starting to build stuff. Once we're ready and it's completely full, we can attack China, I think. That's what we'll look to do. Steel. Where can we get... Germany, maybe. Maybe Germany could be the one. Aust Let's make friends of Australia on this, yeah. Let's go to Australia for steel. So there we go. That should disappear. They're very nice. This army will be... Our... Invading army by the sea. Now, no one seems to be great at that, but we have got, obviously, reconnaissance people. Um, can we do it by skill? Obviously. Obviously, we can promote people, which would be cool. This guy apparently is our highest skill guy. He's just a general. Reconnaissance and river attack. How about him be the one in charge then? You'll be in charge of the invading navy forces there. Yamashita. Okay. He'll be in charge of that. Good, good, good. So yeah, we have kind of a plan going, but it's going to be a long one. The Spain one, you kind of jump straight into war. This one's going to take a bit longer. The Spanish Civil War, of course, has begun. This one's going to take a bit longer. We obviously are going to go to war with China very soon. It won't be too long. Probably one of the first nations to go to war, apart from obviously the Spanish Civil War. Um, let's build the carrier. One more. There we go. But that needs more stuff. We always need more stuff and more steel. Come on, Australia. Give me m more steel. That's using our factories at the moment, but we're okay. We definitely need to build more construction factories. So building this, I think, is good. Yeah, I think what we'll look into is building some more... Try and get more construction factories next on the agenda. But we need to make sure we're building enough weapons and stuff. Everything's looking good, though. Just the weapons, really. Yeah. We're not building any marines at the moment. We still have enough stuff, I guess. But it's all, it's, it's all good. I say, it's going to be a long one to begin with. It's going to be quite plain. But China, what would China do? Can they unite the other Chinese if they do that? Maybe for the Chinese People's Front? Um, they could be a big problem. Uh, Japan, I've seen Japan, like, really get pushed back by China. And Japan could never win. But sometimes I've seen Japan steamroll China. And I'm not sure whether it's better to go in early or late. I feel like it's better to go in late because they have so many men. Our manpower is good as well, but I'm assuming they probably have more soldiers than we have. We have 71 divisions. They have 40 just here in this one province. <laughs> just in this one area protecting Beijing. Beijing is right there. Ooh. Look at that. Seven men. 
Now, personally, I feel like this, these are done unevenly. Look at that. They've only got four of them. There is the mountains, I guess. So the mountains will help them a lot. There we go. Some research has been done. One of the more mechanical parts. Okay, let's get the radios. Reinforce rate. I like that. That's always a good one. Radios, I've always kind of liked. It just seems like a good idea to have some radios. But yeah. How many do we have over here now? There's two men here. What were you doing there? You silly billies, come over here. You these extra men. Now we'll bring them into the army completely later. Are you, can you get back? No, you can't. You're just, <laughs> you're just one man against... Look at those Soviets in their, their um, coats. They look dark as hell. Like They look evil. Like they're waiting for us. Look at this. The Soviets completely reinforced their board. 16 here. Hmm. We definitely don't want to go to war with Soviets. Maybe if we have to, we might have to ally to the Germans. That might have to come about, but I'd preferably rather not and have the Germans and Russians fight each other while we just can do what we want. That's what I'd prefer to happen, but we'll have to wait and see what happens here. Many things could happen. There's a lot of possibilities right now. I just hope it goes our way. I just hope. Let's put it on full speed. Full speed ahead. We could get these guys also to invade. I guess they couldn't move, obviously, because actually there's the, f the port here. Let's have it move you guys to the port. Can move this guy in. No, can't bring him in, actually. Italy has defeated Ethiopia. Can you move to this one? He can't move to this one. Huh. From a non-naval base. Look, he's not in a naval base? I thought he was. I guess that one is it, then. See, I thought I was in that one a second ago, and it wouldn't let me. Now it will. Okay, you go join them, then. Whatever. Machine tools. We could always use this as, like, a second base. We could attack, like, here or something. That could be kind of fun. Okay, so let's... Construction speed, maybe? I guess constru mm, construction speed. Let's go for construction speed. And one more. Something militarily, I think. Land doctrines, we can get plus 50%. So let's go for that. We just finished that, so max planning. And what next, then? Ar army air innovation or army motorization? No, 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 no. We got industrial effort down here. Civilian factories will be built. That will be really good for us. Advanced torpedoes. Ooh, that sounds nice. The long lance. Warrior tradition, now that could be good as well. National unity plus 15%. We're only at 65%, actually. Let's go for this, then. Recruitable population, 2.5%. So that gives us more recruitable population. That seems like a good way to go with. I'm going to say maybe 1937, we might declare war on China. 1937 or halfway through 1937 might be the way to go. Limited conscription, partial... Mobility. What do we go for here then? There's a lot of things to go for. Just 100% fascism though right now. People like Hirohito. Is it Hirohito? I'm not exactly sure I say it. I'm going to destroy pronunciations of things. I'm going to try not to speak as many things as possible. I wanted to say his name because he is the leader. Hirohito. I think that's how you pronounce his name. But I'd love to hear in the comment section. Like I say, don't get crazy if I pronounce things wrong because that's just normal. People are obviously going to mispronounce it. If you've never heard someone say something, how do you know how to say it? I never understand why people get crazy about mispronunciation. I don't know. That's just me though. I mean, sometimes it can be silly. <laughs> Actually, the fascists have grown 20%. The center party. That's John Curtin. You better be careful. We've now got the tank we wanted. Um, yeah, we can start building this. We're going to start building this tank then because these two tanks are a bit too far ahead. Let's start getting those tanks. 1938. That's a bit too far ahead. Yeah. Let's go for getting this up then. Into war artillery. Let's get that up. But yeah, you're going to have to be careful there, Australia. You could turn communist. And let's look at the tanks. So I want to create a whole new one. I can't cancel any of these because lots of them have it. In fact, most of armies have this one, which is kind of a shame, it says. Yeah, 40 divisions. That's a, that's a very poor one, actually. Let's build one then. I don't want that, no. Edit. No, not this one. Huh. Maybe we should get rid of these then. We'll wait for that one to grow, but yeah, let's change this one then, because I don't like this one. New group. 
Armored battalion. We can't make an armored battalion. Oh, we need more experience before we can get the tanks in. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy that to get that. Yeah, you need to have that. That's 35. It's all to that. Oh, it does all of them. Okay, that's not too bad then. So it does all of them as well. But that's going to cost us a lot to be able to get a tank a regiment. Yeah. That's going to be really difficult. We might just have to edit our current armies to add in tanks, possibly. That could be good. Maybe one of the smaller ones. Like, this one already adds in tanks, in a way. That one's free, free, and nothing else. This one is... Okay, let's just add a soldier. Now, we can have five. Army. Light tank. Okay, that's fine. Light tank. So, we, we could just choose that. You know, two tanks. Oh, I'd like to have three tanks, though. And maybe some recon. So, we need 15 more. So, 25. Okay, so we won't be getting tanks anytime soon, probably. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer before we get some... Army experience. Now, I could get our men to exercise, but I don't want to exercise. I want to get our men ready for the coming battle. I guess the ones in China can maybe do it. How about the, one, the ones in Japan, sorry? How about you guys do some exercise? <laughs> we'll get these guys to do some exercises. It costs, then it going to cost me production. How many guns do we have right now? 6,000? We're still far away. Yeah, let's not do that then. Um, decline. Don't do that. Yeah, stop exercising. We don't need to do that. We'll just have to wait till we go to war. Now, warrior tradition I like. National unity goes up. Division recovery goes up. So that would be really good. Student innovation. Land doctrine, minus 5. Consumer goods factories, minus 5%. Those two are pretty good. And industrial effort. Let's go for that one, this one, then that one. Divine win. Yeah, and then we can go for war with China, I think. Perfect. Let's go for this then. So, okay, we're going to go for that. And we're going to start building up... Japan a bit. I do apologize if I say J China by accident. I for some reason say those two wrong sometimes. No idea why. But if, if you guys don't know, I actually live in China. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. I do at some point in the future, I will definitely be playing one as China or People's Republic of China. I definitely will play one as them. I'm just waiting to see if they bring out some more focus trees for other nations because I feel like China should have one. So I would love for them to bring one out for China so I can play as them. That would be awesome. So we'll wait and see, but in the future, definitely. Mongolia could be cool as well. Sadly, they start off in the faction. I guess you could just leave the faction, I guess, as Mongolia. That's probably a good point, yeah. As Mongolia, you could just leave the Russian faction and just invade your neighbors. I'm not sure how strong they are. It could be cool. Recreate the Genghis Khan's empire. That would be a cool idea. Research. Let's go for research. I want to get encryption and decryption, maybe. That could be something I want to go for. Air doctrine, though. Maybe some more naval stuff. Let's go for some new air stuff. Maybe this one. What, what are we actually building? Which one are we building? We're building the interwar fighter. Type 91 and BSN. Type 91. So we're building this one. And BSN. Which one's BSN? I do not see that one. What the? What is this? Is something I'm missing? I have no idea. But, okay, we might look for this one, maybe. We should build this one. BSN. Re okay, so this one, actually. This is the BSN. Okay, so let's go for this one. Let's research that one. We can start building that fighter instead. Okay. I'm happy with that. Obviously, the naval effort of the Japanese is usually pretty good. So, we want to maybe concentrate on naval stuff in the future. But right now, we're going to concentrate on air and men. Because China, obviously... They're not going to have a good navy, probably. I would suspect they're not going to have a good navy, so we don't need to concentrate on that too much. But in the future, obviously, we've obviously wanted to go to America. That is going to be important. And fascism is growing in America. In Mexico, sorry. <laughs> so that's one thing, but yeah. So we definitely want that at some point. But right now, we don't need it. Again, that's the reason why I'm trying to convert Australia. Because if they can come to fascism with us... That would just make things so much easier rather than having to, you know, attack them and invade Australia. I could imagine that being a pain. Okay. Now we want industrial efforts. That will give us a lot of civilian factories, which will be great. Allow us to build up even more. Right now, I feel like we're doing pretty good, though. Yeah, our gun... Look at that. Guns are basically filled up. We're going to make lots and lots of guns. That is definitely what we're going to do. We're going to build so many guns. Grand battle plan has been completed. Look at the next one. Defense and organization. I like that one. We'll go for that one as well. I like those odds. We have a lot of soldiers here right now. 
So they're not all connected. So how about we connect them all now? There we go. They're all now together. There's marines and stuff. We can now modify our government. Now, what do I want? We don't need more men. We have 2.5 million manpower. We don't need more soldiers. Let's leave that for now. Exports. Maybe free trade could be good. Limited exports, though. I mean, we need lots of different ones. Factory output could be good. Research time also goes down. I don't know. Research time, 5%. That could, maybe we should go for export focus, a bit less focus on it. Maybe. Because when it comes to our resources, have a quick look. Um, actually, we can just look at the trade, can't we? I just clicked on resistance by accident. But we kind of have a lot of chromium and stuff. Exports, minus 15. Minus 25. We make so much of some of these things that we're way over it. Steel, actually, we seem to be using a lot. Actually, yeah, we'd probably lose a lot of steel. Okay, let's, let's leave that for now. I'm happy leaving it. What do we have here, though? Communism? No. Democracy? We're going to stay fascist, of course. That's what we're going to do. Political power gain? Plus 15%. Ooh, that could be nice. Uh, Prince of Terror? Or Monthly Opinion? These two are pretty nice. We might have to get those at some point. But for now, these would decrease the research of stuff, which I'm not particularly fond of going for at the moment. Military theorist? Nah. Ground battle plans, doctrines. No, let's go for something for our armies to get ready for war. Division attack plus five. Army morale. Recovery rate. Pretty nice. Army logistics. Infantry. Oh, plus 10 attack and plus 15 defense. I like you, Okamura. I guess that's how you pronounce it as well. I like that one. We're going to go for that guy. Because we're getting ready for war. It's going to be about infantry and stuff. They need to be ready. Our infantry need to be ready because that's a lot of Chinese. That's definitely a lot of Chinese. And I'm not sure, you know, we have 30 men. We have less men. It's going to have to, we're going to have to take advantage of the naval invasion, I think. If we attack China, we're going to have to basically just uh, defend this as much as possible. Try and push if we can. Obviously, Meng Kuko only has three divisions. Are you kidding me? So they're not going to be much help, but yeah. And we can use these guys to distract them. We'll go straight for Nanjing, I suspect. Yeah. Probably drop off here so we can cut this off. Yeah, we'll drop off here, jump here, and just go straight for Nanjing if we can. But then we cross that river. There's the lake here as well. I guess Shanghai actually is best. We'll drop off at Shanghai then. We'll go and Hangzhou. So we'll go for Hangzhou and Shanghai and push through up here because then there's no river. If it seems difficult, we'll put a different group over here and try and cut them off. That's what we'll do. Okay. Now, the artillery's done. Anti-tank, anti-air. Not so important, I think, with China. Yeah, we're attacking China. I don't think that's the main thing we should go for. Military police, though, could be a good one. Maybe I'll go for military police. Because then we have the choice. But that's going to cost me more experience. We don't have it right now. Yeah, let's go for something naval doctrine. More naval ships, maybe? Maybe we go for naval ships. Um, destroyers, cruisers, battle cruisers. Hmm. I'm not really that good when it comes to ships. I don't know enough about ships and ship warfare, I feel like, in this game yet. I mean, it's okay. I'm, I know how to use it and stuff, but I'm still not sure how good I am. And actually, most of them are a bit too far ahead. That one's okay. Battleships. Destroyers. We'll leave it for now, I think, actually. Maybe we go for some naval doctrine. Destroy sub-detection, destroy organization, escort efficiency. Not for now. Well, again, that will come maybe later. Can we only choose one of these? We can go for all of them, it seems. Um, submarine surface detection, again, though. Let's go for carrier primacy, yeah. Just because we're attacking China. And this one. That was actually there. Yeah, hey, we've got that. We could choose one of those. Nah, I'm fine for now. We got the radio. Something to do with industry. Concentrate industry. Or do I go for this? Let's go for this one. Mechanical computing. It'll take a long time to do, but it decreases research time. Let's just go for that. And it then can get encryption and decryption as well, which is always very good. That's more the main reason you're going to choose this one. But yeah. But war will come. An anti commentan pact. Germany proposes that we sign a pact recognizing that the aim of the communism 
Communist International, known as the Comintern, is to disintegrate and subdue existing states by all the means at its command, convinced that the toleration of interference by the Communist International in the internal affairs of the nations not only endangers their internal peace and social well-being, but is also a menace to the peace of the world, des uh, the world desires of cooperating the defense against communist subversive activities. I'm going to say we join because obviously we want to... I'm not particularly bored about the Soviet Union. We might as well keep friendly with the Germans for now and see what happens. Personally, I'd like to go for our own faction, but you never know. Things might turn badly for us. So yeah, we might need help against communists, the Soviets. Probably won't be going to Europe though, so it makes more sense that we're more likely to take the lands of the Soviets than the Europeans. Let's join. Oh, and I forgot to click this. Um, let's go for warrior tradition. We'll go for that when we know we could get attacked by the naval forces. This will be good though. And divine wind. Okay, then we'll go for China. So once this one's done, we're then going to go towards the war with China. So 1937 probably, like I said. And battleship. Five more. Okay, there we go. Very nice. I think we're looking good. We're building a lot of soldiers. A few more have been built here. Some more mechanized infantry. His army's getting pretty big, actually. I'm not sure how many can if he can actually hold that many. That's 25. That's one too many. Oh dear. Oh no, it's 20. Is it? Yeah, it's only 20. Okay, so he has 20 men. So he's fine for now. He can take four more men with him, but we can always make a second division. So that's not too big a deal. This army over here will be our other one. Let's create this one. This will be, a th this will be another one. It's good because you start with so many generals. It's not too bad. Reconnaissance. Let's choose this guy. Tanaka. You can be this army's general. You'll be there to kind of... You can attack Hangzhou. The others will attack Shanghai. Yeah, that's what we'll go for. Well, the uh, no, the others will attack Hangzhou because that's closer to Nanjing. He'll attack Shanghai. That's what we'll go for. And the refineries have been built. We have 31, actually. We actually have enough to now build two things at the same time. So let's go for construction, then. Um, let's go for this. And I'll build some more refineries. Let's go for this place. Yeah, we want more refineries. Actually, how many do I need? Surplus seven. Yeah. I think that would be good. Yeah, if we can build those two, we should be good on oil. Oil, of course, is very important for us. And we're still building a lot of armies. Our manpower is still pretty full. So things are looking pretty nice. But what will happen? Soviet Union, what are you planning to do? The Great Purge. We will destroy you at some point, obviously. What do we go for? Okay, Chinese... Um, border incident, I think, is the way to go now. We'll go for these ones later on. Right now, I don't feel the need to go for them. This one, <laughs> probably no time soon. We could always Chinese puppet, but I want to declare, well, I want the land for ourselves. You know? We need that land. China does not have enough land for its people. We need more land. The four-year plan, army innovations, industrial effort, defense focus, home defense. So all the people are going for their own little ideas. Nothing particularly special. Bureau of Aeronautics. And uh, prepared invasion, uh, prepared defense is done. Okay, we could do the next one, but we don't get any decrease. So let's leave it for now. Though it does give us breakthrough and soft attack. That is really nice, though. Hmm. That is really nice. But we're now at 37. And I think we'll leave it there. I'll come back next time, guys. And I'll see you then. Good night.